So, yeah. did you see KKR going to the top four? They don't have a backup option for Andrew Russell, like. And it would be strange for Owen Morgan, the best wide ball captain at recent times, to play under someone like Dinesh Kapoor. And I feel his back with the bang. What a delivery is gone. Knocked him over. DJ Bravo style. And there's a lollipop cast for Jeddo. Russell Muscle goes big and out of the park. So hey guys, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Cricket Tribune once again. Well, we are again, once again back with another IPL team analysis and this time it's all about Ami KKR. Well, the Kolkata Knight Riders and we have got our very own guest up here and that is my one of the very good buddies, Sonak Banerjee up here. And he's strategically very good with cricket right from his childhood. So Sonak, how are you? Welcome here to Cricket Tribune. Hi, Eddie. I'm fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm doing good. And how excited are you? I think KKR, you are supporting the last year. What about today, in this year? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have been uh, I have been supporting KKR for the last three years after eventually Rahul Dravid got uh, retired. And I was I have been supporting KKR. It has been one of my favorite teams since then. I believe uh, the mega auction, they went for a very dangerous move with buying so many young players. But uh, this year they have made some good buys, and I believe that might prove crucial at the later stages. Yeah. So uh, those who are new to our channel, uh, first let me tell you guys that uh, there is a team analysis. We're going to discuss the playing eleven, the potential playing eleven, you know, that KKR could have, and uh, we're also going to discuss the strengths and the weaknesses up here. And we have got Sonak with whom we'll be discussing all of it. So guys, if you're still watching this video and you have, if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, please make sure you subscribe because there are a lot, lot more things going to come in the upcoming weeks, in the IPL week. So guys, fast in your seat belts and let's take off. So Sonak, starting off with the openers, uh, you know, plenty of, plenty of opening options. Tom Banton, Shubman Gill, Rahul Tripari, Sunil Narayan. Who is your pick for KKR? I believe at the end of the day, they will either choose between Gil Naran or Gil Tripathi. That I see that is the possible options. Panton with the likes of Russell, Morgan and Cummins. I don't see him getting directly into the 11. Uh, I heard that Morgan has an injury right now. So that might help Panton come into the playing 11. But let's not talk about that for a moment. But if we, if we see the best possible start, it would be Gil and Naran, right hand, left hand combination as well. Absolutely, and we have always seen that Sunil Naran has been very efficient in the power play overs, you know, batting in the power plays since the last three to four years for KKR as well as for TKR. Yes, I was about to say that uh, the T uh, the CPL that has been happening, he has been very influential at the top of the order with uh, uh, Colin Munro who started, then various other Colin Munro got injured, but uh, Sunil Naran. Didn't play a lot of games, but uh, whatever he played, he was good, and he has been bowling really well with the uh, with his uh, hand behind his back, uh, so that yeah. he, ca he doesn't show the ball at the action. last moment. Yeah, with his new yeah, action. absolutely, and and and, I, and he's bowling well after that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so okay, so even for me, it's uh, I have went with Sunil uh, Sunil Narayan and Shubman Gill as openers. I also feel that Shubman Gill has been very efficient in opening. Now, we have seen Shubman Gill as a finisher, we have La seen uh, Shubman Gill as a mid-order batsman, but I think uh, he is more prominent in the opening. What do you think, Sonak? Yes, yes, I was about to say that. Uh, Gil, Gil, we saw that he was playing as a finisher in, at uh, the uh, starting of the last season, but yeah. uh, he was shifted up to the top and he did play a good, quite a good few innings. So, uh, Gil at lower down the order doesn't feel the right spot for him. Uh, Gil should be playing at uh, top of the order, I believe. Like yeah. that's its eventual place. Uh, absolutely, uh, very much agreeable. So let's uh, come down to the middle order, you know, of KKR. Uh, well, what uh, what is the number three, four, and five for KKR? Three is, I believe, Nitish Rana. Okay. He is a good guy. He he can even ball a few overs. He has a yeah. bit of off spin, which will be very efficient at the. Uh, UAE, as we as we are seeing what is happening in the CPL at the last two semi-finals, it has been very spinning tracks at the later end of the season. Yes. So with, then I have Morgan, Russell, Karthik okay, at my so, uh, four, uh, four, five, and six. So they can add if, as you saw last year, Russell can come up uh, or the up the order if the situation demands. So yeah, Morgan, we all know he's a brilliant white ball cricketer. 
and Karthik who has been playing the finishers role in the last quite couple of years is a good finisher and the captain as well so yeah Okay, so your number three is Nitish Rana, and number four, five, you have uh, gone with uh, Owen Morgan, Andrew Russell, and at number six, DK. So well, uh, here's yes. I've got slight change, you know, uh, and I've I've brought in Rahul Tripathi at number three. I've uh, I've got num okay. at number five, I've got Nitish Rana. I feel he's a very good mid-order batsman. He's a left-hander, and I think he really deserves uh, a, a lot of matches to be played. And well, at number five, I've got uh, Owen Morgan. He's brilliant. He's brilliant at number five. And yes, at number uh, six, I've got Dinesh Karthik. So, and Russell? Yeah, Russell at number seven. You know, actually, Russell. You know, I think uh, Russell. We can shuffle him. You know, according to situation. Uh, if if yeah, the, even if, even the management also said that he might uh, he might play at number three. At number three also yeah. in certain cases. David Hussey, they uh, he said it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yes, sir. and what do you think about the finishing? Uh, you know, the finishers of uh, KKR. You know, we can see Owen Morgan, Dinesh Karthik, Andre Russell. I think brilliant. You know, they have got a cool finisher group up there. Absolutely, Ajit. Absolutely. The thing is, uh, Morgan, Russell, and Karthik. They can uh, they can either give the stability or the they can both all uh, like Russell, leaving Russell aside. Morgan and Karthik can play the that the anchor innings that we say. Yeah. If if they come at three, whereas uh, I believe Rana and Tripathi at three and four would be very uh, tricky. Because the thing is, uh, if uh, both of them fall very early, a huge pressure will be on the rest of the three to stay at the end. Whereas I had Tripathi after Karthik. Like at just in seven. case there is a huge huge batting collapse, then we might bring in uh, Rahul Tripathi then so that he can. We might have a backup at the end. That's what I feel. Uh, like, actually, uh, uh, even I also uh, gave a thought of Rahul Tripathi here at number seven. But I thought, you know, uh, we have seen Rahul Tripathi playing for Rajasthan Royals at number seven. You know, and we have also seen Rahul Tripathi as an opener. So, and uh, we all know the, what the stats speaks. Uh, that Rahul Tripathi is much much better as an opener. He scored over more than ninety plus yeah. runs. <laughs> Far PS. So that's why I just uh, yeah. went that you know just shift, just have Rahul Tripathi at number three, uh, and then uh, at number seven we go with DK or Russell in according to situation what happens. Yeah, absolutely. If you take Tripathi uh, higher up the order, it, the batting looks so deep that uh, it just doesn't end. Yeah, it looks absolutely. so deep, and 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 then and, and I would say that's a good thing to have rather than a bad thing to have. Uh, at in T20 nationals, uh, there can batting collapses any time. Any time. So as we saw in the yeah, so, just this match, you know, PKR in the CPL. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh absolutely. my goodness. <laughs> so that's the thing. If the, yes, I I think they might also play the party at three. Like you might be right in this as well. Like you yeah, can play at seven. You can play at three. It's yeah. different. It, it depends, depends on the completely situation. on the management. Yeah. Yeah. Management and the situation as well. Yeah. Okay, so uh, here we go with the bowling lineup. You know, uh, we have there are plenty of options. Patrick Cummins, uh, they've got Lockie like Ferguson, who is really good in the depth, and then we have got Prasid Krishna, the young boy. Kamlesh Nagarkati and Shivam Mavi is much much fitter than before. They've got the spinners Kuldeep Varun. So who is your pick up there? So oh, I have four options to take from right. So the four players I have, I think, should be Prasid Krishna, who has been. The main bowler for us in the last couple of years, we have Kuldeep Yadav, the leg China man. China man. Yeah. So and then I have, I think there can be one switch at the later end of the season. I be, I have let we, they should start with Patrick Cummins, and at the end of the season they might shift to Chris Green. He has been very good in the CPL. Yeah. Uh, when the pitches the get slower. Yeah. When the pitches get slower, I believe uh, Chris Green could be a vital option. And uh, I believe uh, Nagarkoti, who wants to prove himself very bad since he has missed the last two seasons, I believe Nagarkoti should get the knock in ahead of Shivam. And he is faster and he can bat as well. Nagarkoti, what I have heard. From. Yeah, yeah. Even I've heard. Even I've heard it about you know Kamlesh Nagarkoti. He really has a good ability to hit. Well, uh, I've gone uh, with something like this. Uh, that is, uh, in the initial stages, if. Uh, Uh, I think uh, there won't be much amount of cracks in the pitch. You know, the pitch won't be that much slow. So I would, uh, I would uh, take on with three paces up there. You know, Patrick Cummins, Prasid Krishna, and someone. First of all, I would love to go with Kamlesh Nagarkoti because I really love the way he bowls. You know, and I think, as you mentioned, you know, 
uh, i really feel that he will be he will be just hungry you know to get as many as wickets and contribute for the team um well uh, we can also have a, a, sh- a shuffle between sandeep varier and uh, shivam mahavi who can also be added uh, but but uh, yeah, there are many options actually yeah. there are many options shivam mahavi shivam mahavi is there uh, sandeep varier is there for spinning options they have varun chakrabarty yeah. so yeah, they uh, have a lot of options and what well. i as i was speaking uh, what i feel is that you know during the later to- later half of the tournament tournament when the pitch turns to be slow i would add up a varun chakrabarty up there perhaps in place of someone uh, between uh, prasid krishna or kamlesh nagagoti who might be uh, not performing up to the mark you know i would just uh, shift in the mr spinner up there and just let's see how he works because uh, there was a huge yes, sir, hype yes, 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 yes. uh as i was saying like if we saw yesterday's tkr's match they did bo- uh, like only two or three overs were bowled by the fast bowlers like gwen bravo is considered as a fast bowler now i believe yeah. uh, only ali khan bowled the last over the 19th over other than all of them were mostly spinners so we can expect something like this at the latter end of the season in uae because the pitches are going to be very slow at the end and whereas only three stadiums the dubai abu dhabi and sharjah so the pitches will get very slow at the end uh, yes sir so sonam let's just jump off uh, to the strengths of the kkr what according to you is the basic the main strength of kkr this year the uh, uh, batting or- the lower batting order that knowing lower batting order looks like a real threat uh, morgan who is one of the best white ball cricketers i have seen in the recent times the way he batted during the world cup and he has how he has been batting in the pakistan and australia series as well russell we all know what russell can do uh, we saw it last year uh, and kartik who has been very influential in the lower down the order as we saw even last year that's a huge strength for them i would say and uh, if narin fires at the top that would give them a brilliant start with these to follow the batting lineup looks really strong Yeah, absolutely. When uh, when I was just uh, uh, yeah, having a look on this batting order, even I felt that this is the main core of the strength. You know, their finishers up there: uh, Andre Russell, uh, Dinesh Karthik, Owen Morgan. Owen Morgan, we know that he has finished a lot of games for England, as well as for uh, the counties. Uh, and uh, when you look at Dinesh Karthik, he he has uh, turned to be a professional finisher in the last uh, three or four years. You know, which he wasn't. Did the Ash Trophy? <laughs> Did the Ash Trophy? And well, yeah, and yes. Russell, you know, no, no doubt on him. You know, uh, recently, oh, no, I saw Shane Watson, you know, ranking him uh, the top five best uh, T20 all-time T20 cricketers. You know, uh, Ray Russell. Even I would, Arijit. Even I would, to be honest. He has played. Uh, he has been playing since 2012. He played in the 2012 World Cup for West Indies. He has been playing since, and he has been playing really well. He can bowl. He can bat. And he's an and absolutely brilliant fielder as well. Absolutely freak. His fitness. Yes, absolutely, you know, absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's what I feel is the main strength. Well, uh, but one thing I would just uh, love to, uh, you know, what I would uh, love to uh, mention, you know, that they don't have a backup option for Andrew Russell. I think they could have gone for that. Like uh, Mumbai Indians have a backup for Kyron Pollard, like Shafan Rutherford. I think if someone yeah, ha- if something happens to Dreyer, you know, let's not think, let's not say that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything happens, but uh, touch wood for the KKR yeah. <laughs> management. So I think that's something that uh, they would have uh, looked for. I think uh, still they have got a replacement of Pravin Tambe too. I think they could uh, look for that place, you know, just uh, have someone like Yusuf Pathan or someone else, you know, Carlos Bathwaite. Yeah, Yusuf you know. Pathan has been hitting balls in the net very big. Uh, I saw in Irfan <laughs> Pathan's Instagram. So uh, Russell, Russell, I believe yes, that's an option. Russell, I I too believe Russell, the backup for Russell isn't good, and uh, basically backups, to be honest, aren't so good. Like not. Very good, to be honest. Okay. Other than the bowling lineup, the batting backup isn't too good. They have Rinku Singh as well, who and can Sidesh play lower down the order, and Siddesh Nath. Yes, both of them are there. So I don't know. I don't think they have a good option uh, as for Russell's play backup. Chris Green might be an option. Yeah, might at be later option. end of the season. Jump up to the weaknesses. What do you think are the basic weaknesses? You know, the basic loopholes that are still there in the KKR lineup. still the inexperience in the bowling lineup okay uh, even though comins and uh, yadav is there but yes a little bit of inexperience uh, we saw how yadav 
Yadav wasn't good in the World Cup as well as in the uh, last year's IPL. Uh, yeah. The, that might be a concern for them. And uh, Cummins, uh, Cummins in other than Australia, England, South Africa. Other than that, uh, pitches where it doesn't seem much, it gets a bit difficult for them. For him, to be honest, and uh, likes of Prasad Krishna and Nagarkoti, they don't have that much of experience. So the bowling lineup looks quite uh, not as weak as last year, but it's still weak. Yeah, like, even not, not a major weakness, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, even uh, when I uh, thought of the peak uh, weakness, you know, I just felt that you know uh, their depth overs is still a concern. Uh, especially, we know that Pat Cummins is a very good bowler, you know, with the new ball. But uh, yes, with the new ball, he might they might get two or three overs at, at times, you know. But when it comes to the death overs, Prasid Krishna did a good job in the uh, in the last IPL. He was really good. If he continues with that form, then uh, it's uh, the KKR management will be a little relaxed. Uh, else, I think Pat Cummins, he is not up to that mark, you know, in the death overs. But I think that Lockie Ferguson, this guy, he's really good in the death overs. But but you know, you got, you're bagging Pat Cummins for a huge amount of money, and then uh, 16 crores. That's yeah, huge. And and I not think, playing uh, him would be so fishy. Like, it would know. be a yes, yes, absolutely. So like, uh, I even I agree. The dead bowling is a factor, but uh, with the Nareen, Ra- Russell does bowl good in the death overs. But he's Russell does good, you know. He's inconsistent. Yeah, th- yeah. that's that's the, that's my point, Arjit. The, Inconsistency and the inexperience will happen a lot for KKR. That's the major weakness I feel. I don't see any other weaknesses in the batting order. The bowling might be a weakness at the end. Yeah, yeah. Another thing that uh, I I feel is that you know Dinesh Karthik's captaincy is being questioned again and again. There are many fans. Yes, it, and it would be strange for Oil Morgan, the best white ball captain at recent times, to play under someone like Dinesh Karthik, who hasn't who hasn't done exceptionally well in the IPL as well. Like uh, he hasn't done something brilliant out of the box. If if you saw the first match of Australia versus England, uh, Oin, I would say Oil Morgan's yeah, captain Oin Morgan won captain England the first game. Yeah, absolutely. It was just brilliant, you know, just brilliant. And but I think that yes, the presence of Owen Morgan, you know, he can get a little bit of tips yes, here and help. there, uh, and I think that will help. You know, so just let's hope for the best, and uh, it will be a, a challenge for Dinesh Karthik to prove himself, to prove his. So, and did you see KKR going to the top four? Yeah, absolutely. Well, honestly speaking, I see. Uh, perhaps I would not be surprised, you know, if uh, they uh, make up to win the title this year, because I think uh, they have. They 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 have a very good team, you know. If everything underdogs, you are saying fine. Uh, not underdogs really, but I think they've got the potential, you know. But just the thing <laughs> is that a few things they need to uh, keep in mind that death over, you know. Prasid Krishna needs to bowl well. Pat Cummins needs to, you know, put on his uh, shoelaces and just uh, work hard in the death. Yeah. And I think things yeah, will absolutely. work for them. Yeah. So, uh, like, what, what, about you? what about you? Overall balance. Yeah, even I do agree, but uh, as you said, the, they have to work very hard as a team to get to the top four. There are quite few good teams who are, I would say, absolute certain for the top four this year. But uh, to get to the top four, uh, they have to work a bit that hard. And uh, the I would say Nareen's and uh, Russell's management has to be spot on from the uh, KKR management. They haven't been playing a lot. They have been taking gaps in between. Uh, yeah. In the CPL as well, so I expect them to take gaps in between. So, how to take that gaps and how to give them the break that they need, it might be very crucial at the end of the season. Uh, so yes, uh, thank you very much, Sonak, for uh, this uh, lovely presence up here. You know, thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, uh, we are looking forward to many more such conversations throughout this IPL session. And yes, uh, so guys, yes. if you're watching this video and if you haven't yet subscribed my channel, make sure you subscribe it. And yes, uh, do I need, it, need to tell you additionally, you know, in the description down below, the link of YouTube channel and Instagram channel of Sonak is given. You know, he's new one up here. He's doing good. He's working hard. You know, he's really strategically very good. Just go and follow his Instagram page and uh, subscribe his YouTube channel. So thank you and see you.